To use a letter pop, I am going to go to the technology uh, Moodle course that we have set up and find the frequently used sites, links, and I'm going to click on letter pop. Letter pop is a web 2.0 utility. It's somewhat similar to a blog. Um, I'm going to have to uh, use this to create my, my newsletter. Um, in order to do that, I have to create an account. I'm going to select my first name as Mr. Um, I'm going to type here my last name. Uh, it looks like it asks for an email, so I'm going to put Mr. Garzaloni at gmail.com. And I'm going to think of a password. I might as well use my password that I created for my email address. When I'm done, I'm going to click Create Account. When I get past uh, creating my account, it's going to take me to a beginning page. It says, Thank you for registering. You will receive an email in a few minutes. Click the link in the email to verify your email address and complete your registration. I can go and do, do that at a later date. Um, what I'm going to do is get started here. I need a title for my project. Uh, I think I'm going to name this Cyber Smart. So I'll go ahead and type that in. When I'm done, I'm going to click this little green check mark. That's going to take me to my document. As you can see, my title says Cyber Smart up in the left hand side. What I want to do next is pick a template. Now I've got quite a few templates to pick from. For this example, I'm going to use the basic templates. Well, this one right up at the top looks like a fairly nice newsletter. So I'll go ahead and select that. To use it, I need to drag it onto the storyboard to the left. Um, the first thing I need to do is put my title or my header into my newsletter. I'm going to type Cyber Smart. I think I'll make that bold. And maybe a font like Comic Sans. Oh, no, that's not professional enough. I think I'll use Arial Black. That's going to be much easier to read, and I'm going to make it quite big. I think size 36 will do. Another thing I can do here is center it, and I can also play with my colors, just like I could in Microsoft Word. Go ahead and select a nice color for my title. Hmm. How about something in a red? That'll do. When I'm done, I'm going to click that green uh, check mark again. Looks like I am done with my title. Now I'm going to find a place to put my text. Now the articles I've been typing are on internet safety and uh, cyberbullying, so I'm going to go find those documents where I saved them. I'll start with cyberbullying here. Uh, when I get my Word document open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my text. And for this example, I'm going to highlight all that I have. And I'll go ahead and right click on that and select copy. And I can go ahead and minimize that window. Once I've got it copied, I can go into where I want to paste my text and right click again and tell it to paste it. When I'm done, I can select my arrow. Oh, but in first, before I do that, I'm going to uh, do something that you'll see that's quite common. I'm going to make the first letter of my text um, a different size. I'm going to make it bigger than the rest. That just identifies it as being the first paragraph of my paper. I'm going to go ahead and add my second set of text which is about internet safety. Looks like I've grabbed my cyberbullying information again. That's okay. For this example I'll just copy a couple of paragraphs here and I'll paste it into a different text box. As you can see, it's putting my newsletter together. Looks quite nice so far. 
Another thing you can do is you can add pictures. It's kind of nice when you have a nice picture to look at when you're creating a newsletter. Most times you want your picture to go with your theme. Um, if I were to add a picture now, I would probably find one that went with cyberbullying or internet safety. If I have too much information for one page, what I can do is I can select uh, to add a page. That's the green plus sign at the top. And that just gives me another page. I have different types of pages I can choose from. There's my internet safety information. I'll go ahead and grab some of that text there and put it on my second page. We'll paste that in. And I have the option to add another photo um, and a caption, which is like a, like a title or a, um, kind of a, a, a description of your picture. When I'm done, I can go ahead and I can save this, I can preview it, email it, publish it, or I can print it. For this example, I think I'll just delete the page. I don't really need this one. Again, I can add pictures to this or tables or whatever I'd like. But now that I've uh, got, gotten started creating this, I think I'll go back to my, uh, my email account and I'll activate my account so that I can use it more than once. It says, thank you for registering. Click the following link to confirm your email address. So, okay, I think I'll click this link here. As you can see, it's got my newsletter, CyberSmart, here. Uh, if I want to edit that, I can by clicking on the, the edit link, which has got the little pencil there. I think I'm pretty much done looking at this or working with this right now. Uh, before I go, though, I'm going to check out some of these other examples that I can use. Well, that's it. Well, thank you for uh, listening to my tutorial.